I don't think so. Okay. Is there a reason? Reason what? I, I don't know. That you can't help me? I'm just asking. No. No reason. Can I help you? Nope. Oh. Any reason? No? Okay. He's asked for a piece of paper. All hands on deck. What's up? You still watching my videos? It is, it is. This is the Nikon.
excuse the shakiness. Getting the phone ready in case we gotta go live. A little bit of background before the camera started. I, uh, I press that little button um, right there, and a little voice came over that speaker box. I tried to request a form for a public records request, and I was told to call call the LaPorte County number, uh, extension 2300, and speak with the director. When I said, basically, that's not how the process works, you're supposed to give me a form. This is the process that this same office has advised me of, that I have to follow. I have to come here and get the form. I can't just call and request a public record. I gotta come to this building, I gotta hit that little button, I gotta get the form from them, and I gotta fill it out. And I can only request one document or one 911 recording per each one of these forms. Now I have one of these forms at my house. Um, I just randomly ended up stopping by here so I didn't have it on me. It's actually filled out. Um, but I got to get a new one because I'm in the area. Anyway, fill it out. This is now not the process. Now that I'm going through the process that they've told me. You know, this is our process that you have to follow. Well, now they've abandoned the process. And when I say, well, that's not how the process works, what happens is, is they say, one moment, please. And then as you can see, things start happening. You know, men in brown uniforms with sewn-on badges on their sleeve start to show up. And they go in that little door. But they don't come out means they're in there having a conversation about what to do about this. Is it going to be something as simple as let's just do what we're supposed to do and give them the form? Or are they going to come out here and tell me I'm trespassing or I'm making people uncomfortable with recording or shit like this? Now, if you watch my other videos, you'll notice the same door, the same wall, the same office. I'm in the same building, same vending machines. They're very clear that I got to fill out this form. As a matter of fact, this is the last time I was here. Fill out this form. You have to fill out this form. I just came and requested a copy of the form. Now they're in there having some sort of meeting with, with two sheriff's department employees and whoever else is in there. So the process is the process until you want to go through the process. And they figure out that you're going to do the process correctly. That's when they switch up the process. See, they need to be able to tell you that you're not following the process. If you follow the process, that forces them to change the process. Now, this is where proving it becomes difficult. This is why you need to videotape everything, is when they switch it up on you. You need to have video proof of every time that they switch it up. So you can show that you're willing to go through the process. No matter if it's the process or not, it's the process you're being told you have to go through. This, this is very important because people try to make it look like First Amendment auditors are trying to ruin the process. People that file complaints when things go wrong are abusing the process. But abandoning the process should be just as, just as readily observable. You know, you should, you should notice when people abandon the process. Not just when you think people abuse the process or you think people aren't doing the process the right way. 
when someone's getting dicked around and they're going through the correct way to do the process, the, the way that they've been informed the process is correctly administered, kind of shows, you know, what's what. When somebody's going out of their way to abandon the process that they insisted you follow, it's usually about more about keeping the information from you. That's what this is. How are we going to figure out how to get him out of here without giving him the paperwork that he's requesting or, or the 911 call that he's requesting? What I'm requesting, by the way, is the October 6th 911 call from a Robin Burian who was the witness to the EMT, you know, the cops, the DUI, all these things that we're talking about in October of 2017 a lot. This would be the witness's 911 call, the guy that called and said, hey, I got a drunk driver here. Um, so that's what we're trying to get today, a copy of this 911 recording. Um, I could have filled out the paper by now, turned it in, and been on my way home. But here we are, wasting time, wasting the community's time and energy, you know, these employees have stuff that they could be doing. Instead, they're in here trying to figure out how to not give me a public records request form. Um, so, we, uh, we got about 15 more minutes on this video. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and take it as a denial after that. I'll give them 29 minutes video footage so by the time this 29 minutes starts to get close we're gonna go ahead and cut out there goes the officer one of them he just came out that other way right, right across there here's another one anyway Uh, yeah, I was just wondering if you had any luck locating that form. We cannot do that. Our director has to do that, and you're going to have to leave him a voicemail or call tomorrow when he's here. Right. So can I speak to a supervisor, please? A supervisor cannot provide that information. Only the director can. Right. That's not the way public records requests work, so I'm asking to speak to your supervisor. I'd like to request some public records. Previously, I've requested... Well, this isn't public records. This is the dispatch center. Right. So an E911 call is a public record. Someone is going to provide a form for you. Hold on real quick. It's only been 15, 20 minutes.
but I didn't point. Good, there's the 10 button. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 